That was the wife of father of five, 44-year-old Dexter Conway of Old Road Land of Canaan, who met his unfortunate demise. According to reports, the fatal accident occurred at around 23 hours on the Kuru Kururu Roadway. The Evening News understands that Conway was a passenger in motor lorry GVV 427, which experienced mechanical issues forcing the driver of the vehicle, Samuel Jai Singh, to stop. Jai Singh and Conway reportedly exited the vehicle and were making inspections when they were both struck by motor car PRR 378, which was proceeding in the same direction. According to Mistress Conway, her husband's boss visited her home and broke the sad news to her. Then the phone is from from the gas station. He was down on my one drive and was straight. So I said, you're going over. He said, no, they're going to go over this side. So I go and I call him and I, I call my mother and I tell she. I tell she, I said, we just left him for going to the bank. Lab. A little bit more, but I don't know what time the, the boss man, wife, come and tell me. But they get to knock down on the highway. Some car hit you on the highway. Where was he, he heading to? He, he heading to um, Kukwani. And they said the car hit you just at the junction where going up the hill for there. Okay. So that's all they told you that the car hit him? Yeah, because they said the, um, the truck has some airlock. Mm -hmm. And they come out to see what's going on with the truck. And I don't know. If the car, if the car is going or coming, mm -hmm. and at first I would tell me that they, they, they pull in to the truck to squeeze in, and I don't know how the car pick up. The motor car was being driven by a 28-year-old of Kuru Kururu who told police that he was attempting to overtake the lorry when he was blinded by lights of another vehicle that was proceeding in the opposite direction. He reported that he felt an impact and after stopping saw Conway laying on the road and Jai Singh sitting. As such, he quickly picked up Conway and rushed him to the Diamond Diagnostic Center where he was pronounced dead on arrival. I saw him. When I saw him, he was bleeding through his nose and through his ears and at the back he had the blood running down. Okay. <laughs> and that was it. A breathalyzer test conducted on the motor car driver showed no trace of alcohol. The police are investigating the incident. Reporting for the evening news, Kizzy Coleman.